channel so for this video I wanted to do a beautiful kind of like springtime makeup look so this is what I came up with I hope you guys enjoy the video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification button it's that bell button that you will see right on the side of my video I think it's right down below there and you guys will get notified when I post more videos because sometimes YouTube does not notify you if I do videos. So I will see you guys on my next video. So I will be doing a voiceover. I hope you guys don't mind. So to start off, I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have it in the shade medium. I will apply that on my eyelids. This is what I usually use when I wanna do um, my base. For my eyeshadows it just gives my eyeshadows more vibrancy you can always go in with a white color as well to make the colors pop but i am going to be blending this in with a flat brush all over my eyelid now i'm taking my subculture palette by anastasia beverly hills and i am going to be taking the color dawn which is a nice beigey color and i'm going to put that all over my eyelid to act as a transition shade for the whole eye look i'm kind of looking to go for more of a smoky brown I look and since we're going to be doing more of a spring type of look, I kind of wanted to go more bold. So yeah. Next, I'm going to be applying the color New Wave, which is a kind of orangey yellow color. And I'm going to also apply that as my transition. And this is also going to go all over the eyelid. Um, you don't have to go with this, but I feel like it just gives a little bit more of a pop to the whole eye look. So I will blend that all over my eyelids. That's the key to any makeup look. You want to make sure that you blend this in nice. Next, I am taking the color Edge, which is almost a yellow tone. I'm also going to be using that for my inner corners. And I'm going to just take that more at the crease side. I kind of want to add a little bit of yellow, a little bit of warmth to the eye look. We already have a lot of warmth going on. But this is just going to make the eye look kind of transition better. Next, to kind of make the eye look more smokier, I'm taking the color Fudge, which is a brown shade from the palette. It's a beautiful brown shade. The color actually goes on a lot uh, darker than what it looks but it blends in beautifully with the whole eyeshadow I don't have a problem with this palette so I don't know it has a little bit of kickback but it works perfectly fine I'm also going to bring that towards the inner part of my crease just to add a little bit of intensity right in the inner corners Now my favorite part is creating that cut crease. We are going to be doing that for this eye look and I use my Fit Me concealer to do this because it's a lot creamier and it dries pretty quickly so that's why I like it. What, As you can see what I usually do in this part, I try to roll my eyes around up and down so that way I know where my cut crease is. It acts as a guide actually to help me create that cut crease and now with another brush I'm just pretty much blending the two colors together. Then I'm taking my NYX Ultimate Palette. This is a colorful palette and I'm taking that yellow intense shade which is just going to act as a base for the next color that we're going to use. And I'm just going to apply that halfway through my eyelid, not all over because we're going to kind of create a transition uh, with this whole eye look. I like this palette, you guys, because it has all the colors that you need, blue, red, purple, green, to create any type of look that you want. You don't necessarily have to go in with this, but I just feel like it adds a little bit of vibrancy to the whole eye look. Next, I am taking the color Edge. So now back to the color Edge from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I am taking that color and I am applying it right on top of that yellow color that we did earlier and this is just adds a little bit more of intensity we already have a lot of yellow going on here so now we're going to blend both colors with a different brush whatever is left on that brush that brown color we're going to blend these two colors together next i am taking the color rowdy which is a purpley shade from the abh palette and i'm applying that mostly on the outer v of my eye and i'm kind of working it towards the crease area you're going to see in a little bit as i work it in you want to make sure that you blend in 
that color because it is very very harsh so make sure that you blend that color in and only maybe apply just a tad bit with um your brush here i'm taking my glitter pop by Too Faced and this is a gold eyeliner i am going to be apply that on my crease area it just adds a little bit of pop to the whole eye look and just gives it a little bit of life so i love glitter on any eye look it just makes it takes the eye look to a whole new level so if you don't do this it's okay i think it looks perfectly fine without it i'm just a little bit extra with this look so that's okay Here I'm taking my favorite eyeliner at the moment. This is from the Tarte's collection and it is a very dark matte eyeliner. It dries a matte so this is why I love it and it just creates a nice wing and it's okay you can take your time creating this because doing an eyeliner for me just takes a little bit of time. Um, going back to the glitter pop I am applying that just underneath my wing eyeliner just to also create a little bit of a pop of um, glitter. Here I'm taking my Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. I just apply that all over my eyelashes. I don't necessarily think you need to have this. You can use any mascara that you like, but I really do like this mascara. And here I'm just applying my eyelash extensions. I didn't realize that these eyelash extensions are actually two different ones. One, it's actually longer than the other one. The other one's a lot shorter. You can tell a little bit here. It just, the other one's more flared out. What can I say? Your girl just made a mistake. Just learn from this. Don't do this yourself. And don't rush when doing your makeup. Lesson learned. You guys already see my routine of how I do my foundation and my face and everything else. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I am applying this powder to prevent any fallout. And I'm taking that color Untamed from the ABH palette. And I'm applying that right underneath my eyes. It just creates a little bit of a pop of color and it just i don't know it just makes the whole look come together now with a different brush i'm going back to the color edge and this is going to go right in the inner corner of my eye and it just kind of transitions everything together can't forget about that yellow which is the major part of the whole eye look here i'm going to take my fenty beauty highlighter this one is in trophy wife and i'm applying that in the inner corners just to add a little bit of pop as well and taking my la colors eyeliner it's a black eyeliner Now I'm taking my Bad Gal mascara and I love this uh, mascara for the under eye lashes. It separates it and makes it long and very, very harsh. So I really do love that. And I'm just going to wipe away all the powder underneath my eyes and all over my face. So we are almost done with the whole look. Now with this brush I'm taking and I'm going to be applying my highlighter, my Trophy Wife highlighter, which I am in love with. It just blends in so pretty and it looks so nice on medium to dark skin tones. One more thing, I am going to apply something for my lips. I think this is a lip balm just to hydrate my lips so that way it doesn't look chappy or dry and prepare it for my lipstick. So here is my eye, my lip liner 24-7 by Urban Decay. This one is in 1993. I use that all over my lip. Next, I'm taking this Dose of Colors lip color. This is in the color Cork. And it just looks really, really nice with this whole eye look. And I love this color. You can definitely go more nude if you prefer. 
you guys have to get this color if you don't have it make sure that you get it it's cork from dose of colors i love this lip color with this whole eye look i'm applying a little bit of highlights on my shoulders and my collarbone you guys know that i love highlight there and trophy wife of course just makes everything pop now i am taking my setting spray by mac this is my fix and plus and i am putting it all over my face it just helps to set my makeup in place so it doesn't move all over and we're just waiting for that to dry yeah, yeah. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the whole makeup look that I came up with. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I really love this look. It's more for a springtime type of look. So anyways, I'll see you guys on my next video. I hope you guys enjoy your spring break. So if you guys are enjoying these type of videos and these type of tutorials, give me a like and I will really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys on my next video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.